Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing of Klipsch's R115 SW subwoofers. But before we get into the video, if you're into home theater audio and video, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right, guys, I want to give a big thanks to Klipsch for sending me a pair of their R115 SW subwoofers to review for you guys. And so I'm looking forward to getting these unboxed. I've heard great things about this, uh, especially in its price point. So I'm looking forward to getting these unboxed, hooked up in a the theater room. Let's check them out. So let's get into it. All right, so first thing we're going to do is lay it on its side. And that way we can cut the bottom and then we'll flip it up once we get these flaps open here. So I apologize for my voice. Uh, over the past week, I have been sick with laryngitis. So I'm just now getting my voice back. And so it's definitely been hard to try to make videos for you guys this past week. But I should be on the mend. So we begin to get those cranking again. All right. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Down here we got a couple things looks like. Alright, so here we have our owner's manual. Looks like a power cord. Let's see what all we got in here. Yep, so there's a power cord. We'll lay that off to the side. A little manual and some instructions. Alright, so what I suggest doing is fold the flaps back. You'll need to lift up the box here. Let's do it this way. Fold that under. So then when we lift up, we just want to kind of hold the bottom, just keep it from slamming down. Just like this right here. And then we can lift the box straight up. So I like it when I see manufacturers using these corner pieces. Definitely helps in shipping because a lot of times um, UPS, FedEx, um, a lot of the carriers, they don't always take care of the uh, equipment. And so that's definitely always a plus whenever I see that. So we'll tuck these away in there. Okay, up top, this is going to be our speaker grill. here <clears throat> all right so there we got the speaker grill the new speaker grills you can see they're pretty translucent so you can actually see through them quite nicely so that's cool when you are able to see the uh, ceramic woofers so I like that We'll lay that off to the side. Right. Just going to lean this back. That is, yeah. yeah, it slides off. We'll just lean it back. That was taped to the bottom. this way so you guys can see it. Are y'all ready to check it out? Here we go. Oh yeah. Alright. 
always love seeing that copper man there's something about that the black up against the copper man that just looks incredible definitely like that man that's a sweet little kind of finish here it's definitely something different than I've seen uh, from clips so I like that a whole lot man so we'll get some close-up shots of this and uh, so let's kind of take a look at the features see what we got here to work with and uh, let's get into the overview If we look at the front of the R115SW, we'll see the 15 inch spun copper ceramic woofer. Now down at the bottom we can see the front firing slot port. Now one benefit to having a front ported subwoofer is it allows you to push it right up against the wall without adding any boominess to the sound. So that's a great feature there. And below that we've got a satin painted plinth. Now the plinth not only adds some style and design to the subwoofer, but it also serves as a decoupler to separate the subwoofer from the floor so that you don't get sound transferring from the subwoofer directly into your room. Now on the back of the subwoofer is the amp plate, an all digital amplifier that has 400 watts continuous and 800 watts peak of dynamic power. At the far top left, you can see you've got the on switch as well as auto. Some people like to leave it on, while others like to set it to auto so that the subwoofer turns on when it receives a signal from your receiver. To the right of that we have a phase toggle switch that allows you to toggle between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Knobs for adjusting your low pass crossover as well as your gain. And below that we have our line input. This is where you would take your subwoofer cable and connect it from your sub out on your receiver or your preamp and go into typically the LFE channel which stands for low frequency effects. Right below that we have our WA port. This allows you to connect a WA-2 wireless adapter that allows you to be able to connect your subwoofer without the need of running that subwoofer cable back to the subwoofer. A voltage switch between 240 and 120 and below that is your IEC connection power port. The R115SW has a beautiful brushed black polymer veneer finish. It measures 21.5 inches high, 19.5 inches wide, 22.3 inches deep, and weighs 75.4 pounds. All right guys, well there you have the unboxing and the overview of Klipsch's R115SW subwoofer. Now I'm excited to get these hooked up and set up because I've heard some great things about the subwoofers. Now the R115SW retails for $8.99 each, but right now Klipsch has them on Amazon for $7.99 and it includes the wireless WA-2 wireless uh, adapter. And so if you're interested in that, I'll post a link to it down in the description below. So the question of the day is what subwoofers are you running in your setup? I'd love to hear about it down in the comments below. And that'll wrap up this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because I produce weekly content on home theater audio as well as video. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.